Listen to the atmosphere. We haven't even dropped the puck on this one yet. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. This should be a fun one. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Bruins take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Boston's got it along the wall. Just wide of the net. Nice pass. The Bruins grab possession to the puck. Boston's on the attack. Taken along the wall by Pasternak. Here's a short pass to Marchand. Stop that one. Right up the one on one with the goaltender. Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot, doesn't execute it. Quick shot, tremendous stop by Rask. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. The Bruins move it in. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out. And he regains control of the puck. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Wild have possession at center. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Pass to Krejci. Feeds it on over to Smith. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And he takes a shot. And the goal tip off the post. Pretty tough to come much closer than that, James. Nobody can score, but the posts aren't helping either. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Suter's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. DeBrusque's getting two for tripping. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Minnesota sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Everybody's having trouble getting on the board tonight, but here's a power play, the first of the game for them. Shot! Stops him with a glove! We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Bruins have it now. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And he gains the zone here. Minnesota's got the puck. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Here's a chance, and he comes up with it. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Bruins win the draw. Moves the puck. Passed up ahead. Puck moved over to Marchand. Picks off the pass. Brodeen's picking up steam. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And he gets a paddle on that one. But he came out and challenged a good save. The Bruins take over on possession. Passes it to DeBrusque. Hammers one, turns him away. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We're still scoreless. Boston's got it and they're on the attack. Can't find his man. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Over the line they come. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Jabs the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Cole. And the state of hockey is loaded! Man, it 
it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. The Wild have opened the scoring here in the first. Good. More goals means more openness to the play. I was worried this was going to be one of those 0-0 games, James, the way it was played early. Hey, and more of my awesome goal calls. Yeah, great. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Bruins take it along the wall and couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Slides the puck across. Great pressure forcing the turnover. Here's an offensive chance. And that one's broken up. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. A chance in front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Minnesota still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. The Bruins get a hold of the puck off the draw. Gains the zone through center. It's a 2 on 0 Big save. I know you like goals, Ferraro, but he scores! That's a pretty big blunder in the defensive zone. It cost him a goal there. Minnesota's got to be feeling good now with a 2-0 cushion. Well, they should. I mean, they deserve this, James. They've worked hard, and they've executed their play very well. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Stays with it. Here's a chance right in front, and they can't convert to the play. The Bruins are in transition. Here he is in front. Scores on the one-timer. And he laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. Minnesota's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals, just a better all-around execution. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. The Bruins are on the attack. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. The Bruins will lose a man tripping the call. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. They've been skunked on the power play so far tonight. So you have a little chat on the bench. Guys, notice some things that the penalty killers do, and you try to adjust one step ahead of them. Oh, boy. Here comes a three-on-one with the stop. Denies him again. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Wild have possession along the boards. A chance! And he makes the save. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Minnesota's in now. Manages to hang on. Trying to dump it out. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Turns the puck up. Here he is on a breakaway! It's official, period number one is in the books. You want to see great information on the stars of tomorrow today? Check out page 21 of the program or our website for profiles on Marcy members on the verge of making it to the big league. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. The middle stanza is about to go. The officials ready to drop the puck. 
Boston's shorthanded unit has done a solid job to this point. Just a few more seconds to spare as they win the draw. Denies them on the play. Grabbed along the board by Marchand. Misses. Minnesota's got the puck now. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot, the guy goes down, and you're toast every time. Grabs control of it at the point. Passes ahead from the right side. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Minnesota's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Musa quickly over to Corrali. Huge steal in his own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Minnesota's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Boston's won the draw. The Bruins will play it in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Coyle. Picks it off. Look out. Minnesota's been in the right position all game long. They've intercepted plays like this since the beginning. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Taken by Dumba. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Centering pass! Great glove save! The setters will glide into the dot. Boston's won the draw. Puck scooped up by Grislyk. And now he angles it across to McAvoy. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Denied by the goaltender. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Bergeron's won it in their own end. Grizzlick's got it in the defensive end. Puts it on goal. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. The Bruins take it across the line. Hammers the shot. Denies him with the save. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's picked off in front. Handles the puck. It's a two-on-one. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. That pass goes a little sideways. They go on the attack from the left side. To his teammate, and they can't finish that one. Oh, he's gonna be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Minnesota's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Picked up along the boards by Kemper. Receives the pass. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Here's an odd man rush. And that goes off a player. Works it across to Smith. Now a quick pass to Krejci. Rips it on net. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. With possession along the wall. Comes up with the stop. Whoa. They score! Coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Well past the midway mark of this period, Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Boston's got the puck against the half wall, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Pucks the puck away. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. 
The Wild have the puck in their own end. Minnesota's going to play it from the corner. Keeps hold of the puck. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Parisi. Moves the puck along the half wall. Made the stop on that play. Feeds it to Ritchie. Hangs on to the puck. And now it's grabbed by Steen. Minnesota's gained possession. Dumba's got it on the offensive end. Pokes it away in his own end. Comes up with the stop. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. What a steal in his own end. Puck grabbed by Parisi. Here's a chance. He's got a step. He scores! Oh, I love getting on a breakaway, James. You're out front, and if you've got confidence, you've got to sell your move and finish it off. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. Minnesota's been pounding them all over the ice tonight. Ray, what's been your assessment? Physically, skating, skill, they've been the better team in any category you want. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here. A little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. Two seconds. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. If I'm coaching their team, James, when these guys went onto the ice for the power play, I tell them forget about what's happened before. Can't do anything about it. It's a new chance, and we need a power play goal now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one's broken up. Minnesota's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Bukestad's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Here he is, all alone! Moved out in front! Oh, goaltender looks so sure as he made that stop on the breakaway. Gains the zone through the middle. The Bruins have possession shorthanded. Puck picked up by Marchand. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes a shot, and there's the save. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. The Bruins have done a solid job shorthanded to this point. Just a few seconds remain as they win the draw here to open this period. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! He's on it. Good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one! Sends a pass over. Spurgeon's got it into offensive territory. The Bruins take over on possession. Across the line from center. Fires it. He scores! Well, with the goaltending on the other side, you're never dead. They're now down by two. Boston's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Scored by number 88, David Pasternak. The Bruins played along the wing. Skates in behind the cage. Maintains possession. And that's broken up. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And he slides it quickly to DeBrusque. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick feed to Pasternak. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. 
forces the turnover and comes up with the puck. Big save by the goaltender once again. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck and he's in position again. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense and they lead here in the third. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Scores! What a shot! That pass is on and off his stick in an instant. No stopping it, one-timing it so it's in the net. Minnesota's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Puts it to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. The Wild have possession along the boards. Moves it to Greenway. Breakaway. Scores! What a shot! That's surprising. This is a steamroll. This is over. Looked like the goalie was expecting a deke. He got back a little deep in the net, and the puck beats him with the shot. Minnesota's only contention's rising. Didn't take much to get this heated up. Minnesota's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Assisted by number 25, Minnesota's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Hartman's won the draw, taken by Brodeen. Gains the zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Erickson X won the draw. Here's a rip. Long jam in front. That's broken up. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Stays with it. Boston's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And that one's turned away. Puck scooped up by Brodeen. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Boston's won the draw in the neutral zone. Comes up with the stop. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Through center along the wing. Intercepts the pass at center. Minnesota's been all over them. It's like they've got a page out of their playbook. Any play they make, they're in the right spot. It's intercepted and in their net. Won the draw here in the offensive zone. Blocked in front. Fires one. And that one stopped. And another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Nice feed at center. Moves up ahead now. Looks to make a play over to Johnson. Minnesota's got the puck in the corner. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. And we're going to get a whistle here. The centermen glide into position. 
And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. McAvoy's taking it from his own end. Air mails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. And that one's broken up. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Minnesota's on the attack. Quick shot denied by the goaltender. Rask's one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way out. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Suter's lugging the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Cuts to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. A chance from below the wall. They score. Once you get a stick on it, it is total chaos for the goalie. It's reaction, it's luck. He couldn't catch up to that one. Boston's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. The Wild have possession now. Puck grabbed by Greenway. On the attack along the boards. Shuts him down. Takes the pass from his goaltender. And he slides it quickly to Pasternak. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a chance out front. Can't connect. Pass right in front. Moves it to Dumba. Sends the pass over. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Bruins have it behind the cage. Loses his balance on the play. No one home on that play. Marchand's got it along the boards. Here they are on the attack. Centered out in front. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Final hole. Bringing this one to a close. Minnesota's offense really the ultimate counterpunch performance tonight. They were in their zone quite a bit. They chased the puck quite a bit. They didn't have it much. But man, when they got into the offensive zone, James, it was in the net in a hurry. You know, when they first started doing this, it seemed a little hokey. I can't imagine it without it now. Yeah, I'm with you. I thought it was strange when they started. Now, if they didn't do it, I would think they're not getting it right. And that'll do it. For Ray Perraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.